now that we've got uh, a pretty good model running, let's go back and see what we've got. We've got our sick count, such and so forth. I'm going to continue to make some changes to this, so I'm going to go ahead and see inside. Um, let's see. One change I want to make is right now it has uh, five people as being sick, and it's always going to be five. But I'm going to set this as a slider, because I want to make it so that um, you can adjust how many people are sick at the start. So I'm going to create a new variable. And I'm going to call this sick at start. Um, and I'm going to say it's for all sprites. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this with two fingers. And it you can choose to change it to a slider. So I'm going to change it to a slider. And that just allows you to set the variable however you want it to be at the start. So I'm going to change, I'm going to say if population, instead of less than 6, I'm going to use this to sick at start. So now let's go ahead and see this running. So 0 are sick at start, OK. But if I say uh, 60 are sick at start, I get more sick at the start, and then they get better. OK, so that's one change I'm going to make. Another change I want to make is I want to um, have a uh, slider for how fast everybody moves. So right now, this is where everybody moves. They all move five steps. So I'm going to create a new variable called speed. And it's going to be for all sprites. And once again, I'm going to turn this into a uh, slider. And now I'm going to use speed over here. So instead of moving five steps, they're going to move speed steps. So let's go ahead and check this out. Obviously, they're not moving at all there. And they can move really fast if I do this. In fact, what's happening when I do that is speed is 100. And you can see that this speed thing is really only effective you know, if it's less than 20, let's say. It, after 20, it kind of gets ridiculous. So instead of using speed steps here, I'm going to um, take speed divided by, I don't know, divided by 10. So that, because the slider always sets the variables to 100, up to 100. So instead of saying move speed steps, I'm going to say move speed steps divided by 10. And then we're going to see what that does. So let's go like this. Now I can see that my fastest speed looks like that, and my slowest speed looks pretty darn slow, which is exactly what I wanted. OK, perfect. Um, now, the other thing I want to do is uh, I also want them to have a recovery time. So how many seconds do they have to wait to get better? Right now, it's set as 3. But I'm going to make another slider. So um, I'm going to make a slider called recovery time. Again, it's going to be for all sprites. And I'm going to make this into a slider. And I don't want them to wait 100 seconds. That's a minute and 40 seconds. So once again, I'm going to divide by 10 here. So um, I'm going to take this, divide by 10. And it's going to be recovery time divided by 10. There we go. All right, so now let's see what happens. I can get my dots to go. Um, let's get my sick count up. Which way is the architect to pick up the student? It's that way. Excellent. Yes. Um, OK, so let's see. Um, I can do my speed a little bit faster, start. So I want 79 of them to be sick. Let's see. There's a lot of sick ones. My speed. Wait, why are there so few sick ones? Oh, because my recovery time is 0, so they're getting better immediately. Now my recovery time is 10 seconds, 100 divided by 10. So you can see it's going to take them a while to get better. All right. What other changes do I want to make um, in this round? I think instead of tracking sick count, I actually want a variable called percent sick. So let's see if I can create a variable for that and display that instead of sick count. Um, so my new variable is going to be called percent sick for all sprites. And I'm going to set percent, percent sick. It's going to be a big thing that I'm going to create here. Um, I'm going to say that it is 
the sick divided by the total. So my variables are sick count divided by the total. Remember, there are 200 total, so divided by 200. And then I have to multiply this whole thing times 100. So, um, and then I'm going to take this, and this is the times over here. So times 100. Ah! Ah! Okay. Times 100. So this whole thing here, put it in this circle there, and grab the whole thing. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Monson. It's very hard to grab this whole thing. So did that do it? Yes. So sick count is going to be like that. And I'm going to put that just in a uh, forever loop. Do I have a forever loop anywhere? Uh, no. I need to create a green flag and put it under a forever. So here we go. This could be a forever underneath a green flag. And let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to hit run, percent sick. You know, I don't like the fact that it's um, not a whole number. I don't like that there's decimals in here. So I'm going to actually turn this into a round, uh, a round number. So I'm going to round it. So I'm going to say the rounding of this whole thing. Got it. Grab this. OK, now let's see what that looks like. OK, perfect. Percent sick. 78, sick at start. No, that should not be 78 because it should be the number of sick divided by 200. Sick count divided by 200 times 100. Okay. Percent sick. Think, think, think. If this were 50, and there are 200 of them, oh, my sick count keeps going up. See that? I have to, I have to reset sick count um, uh, every time. So at the start of the program, I need to set sick count to zero. Set sick count to zero. OK, let's try this again. So it's. 49, which is about 25% sick. That's good. I've got my speed thing working. I've got my recovery time working. Sick at start working. And now I just, I don't think I need this variable here anymore, sick count. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide it. Um, and I think I've got everything I need. I've got my control variables that I can move around, percent sick. That's pretty good. Now, I, um, I'm still missing a big thing, which is uh, sick dots getting other dots sick like the, the, there's contagiousness, and I haven't done that one yet, but I'll do that next time.